Hi comic book fans and welcome to another suddenlycomics.com video and today I'm going to show you a couple of series from Marvel UK back in around 1980. Um, I've put together this little collection uh, for um, a chap in the States um, <coughs> who uh, came on to the Weekly Geekly show and we began talking, he said he was really interested in trying to pick up some Marvel Madhouse magazines, comics, and also Frantic Comic, that were produced by Marvel UK in around 1980. They are sort of like um, competitors to Mad Magazine or Cracked Magazine or National Lampoon, okay? Um, both of them, um, sort of they, they started off quite strong uh quite big print runs so it's quite easy to find the first issues of these however trying to find the later issues is a complete nightmare i think the print run on the later issues must have been minuscule because <laughs> i've been looking for the later issues for about six weeks now and they just don't come up uh, so, if you have got any late issues of either Marvel Madhouse or Frantic Magazine, let me know. Right, here we go. Let's have a look at Marvel Madhouse, first of all. Um, this is issue one. As I said, this is not particularly tricky to find. Uh, you can find this one. I think the print runs were pretty, pretty big. Um, but it's a fun comic. We've got the origins of uh, Charlie America. The Incredible Bulk, oh, the Inedible Bulk, uh, and the Mighty Saw. <laughs> um, I think these are reprints from uh, American satir satirical uh, magazines. Here we've got Marvel Madhouse, issue two, featuring Spidey Man, Nat Man, and Rotten. <laughs> um, I'm presuming these were arranged as sort of teenage, teenage, uh, teenagers. Um, you know, uh, sort of madcap stuff. I mean, no, I really like these. Uh, I didn't pick, I didn't even know about them at the time. 1980, where was I? I was, I was, I was at university, uh, just leaving university, going to my first job. So these missed me. I didn't know about these until I find some the other day. Um, uh, but as I said, I have now tried to put, so I do have issues. Where are we up to? This is number four, I think. Um, yeah. Origin of Superman. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We've also got the uh, Fantastic Four, uh, Origin of the Fantastical Four as well. Uh, and here we go, number five, and we have got uh, Four Bushman. Four Bushman is the guy with the uh, saucepan on his head. Um, special announcement in this issue drawing lessons and puzzle fun <laughs> right issue number six uh and this is the starring spidey man the human scorch the unhumans and dr derange and i think we've got a wedding going on the human scorch and somebody <laughs> uh number issue number seven um We've got the Revengers, uh, Knock Furious, <laughs> and of course, Four Bushman. Great. Uh, right, now these are starting to get tricky to find after this. Um, so I did manage to find one or two of these. These are more difficult to find. Uh, this is issue number eight from January 1982. Uh, we day you, can you sit through this mag and live? Uh, let our motto be humour or death. Uh, <laughs> there's a sign here that says, this is a Bruce Banner. <laughs> okay, Marvel Madhouse number uh, nine. Um, this is a, this is a um, I think this is a, a, a Bonnie and Clyde, Bonnie and Clyde rip off down here. Uh, right, now then, I have not got I've got one to nine, I can't find issue 10, can't find issue 11, 
but a define issue these these then sort of become howard the duck reprints and i did find issue number 12 with uh, of course the most deadly villain of all time the space turnip <laughs> i think there are two more issues of this i think this goes up to about issue 15. Uh, they are rocking horse shit can't find them so if you've got them and you want to sell them uh let me know right on to frantic so similar sort of time 1980 um great first issue cover i i really like this uh, we got miss piggy kissing kermit and he turns into the hulk great cover uh issue two we've got miss piggy again this time She's, it's been pigs in space, was it called? Pigs in space are being beamed up op onto the uh, Enterprise and Miss Piggy is not happy. <laughs> Issue three, uh, we've got this character appearing who is the sort of, you know, the Alfred E. Newman of, uh, of this particular um, satirical magazine. And there's blowing up mad National Lampoon cracked and sick, which are the competitors, I suspect, for this type of comic. Right, issue four. Uh, this issue saved 30p. However, if you read the small writing, it says, ignore this issue and you'll save 30p. <laughs> but if you ignore the competition, you'll save 40p. <laughs> uh, issue number five, fifth disastrous issue. Issue number six, and we've got Howard a Duck cover. Uh, this is Play Duck. Um, the facts. The Play Duck Chief. How the Play Duck Chief, Howard Heffer, made millions. How his leisure time led to disaster. How we fooled you into buying this tawdry magazine in the first place. Uh, Issue number six, uh, seven, um, special hang-ups issue. The only strip magazine with a U certificate. <laughs> uh, right, uh, off from October 1980, Frantic number eight, The Umpire Strikes Back. So we've got a Star Wars, <laughs> Star Wars satire. Uh, this is nice, this is issue number nine. Now, the early issues, again, easy to find. Once we hit issues eight, nine and above, these are much more difficult to find. Okay, here we've got somebody playing an early uh, arcade game. And issue 10, we get this character of Noxio the Clown, uh, is a regular appearer here in Frantic. Uh, Frantic number 10, rare, hard to find. Uh, also this one, uh, number 11, uh, where we've got a Kiss doll. Uh, again, hard to find. Number 12, uh, some sort of puppetry going on. Don't miss Marvel superheroes that didn't quite make it. Don't waste time. Read on Noxio's fun pages, the world's most revolting pastime. <laughs> OK, don't have issue. Uh, that was issue 12. Can't find issue 13, but I did find issue 14, which has got a Dallas uh, ripoff. Uh, and Obnoxio the Clown is saying, when I shoot them, they stay dead. <laughs> so this is the famous Who Shot JR stuff from the 80s. Uh, and I managed to get issue 15. So I've got a pretty good run of Frantic here. These are all going to go in the States who asked me to find them all for him, bundle them up uh, and send them out to him. So when you watch this video, they're probably somewhere in the United States. <laughs> okay. Haven't got, I think there are a couple more issues. I think we go up to 17 on Frantic. So I'm missing about three issues of Frantic. Again, the later issues, really hard to find. There were two specials uh, for Frantic. There was a winter special uh, these are easier to find. I think these were a higher print runs. Uh, and we've got a... Um, <laughs> the guy's on Santa's knee reading out his list of what he wants. Uh, we've obviously got an alien 
an alien ripoff spoof in here. Uh, we got Howard the Duck, the Waltons, Battlestar Galactica, Fantasy Island, and Silver Surfer. And there is a summer special as well. Um, special 52 page special. And <laughs> Superman is trying to break into this telephone box where his Clark Kent clothes are. Uh, and the guy's saying, operator, some nuts trying to break in. There you go. I um, hope you've enjoyed that little whiz through um, a sort of strange period of uh, history where these uh, satirical magazines were really popular. There was quite a few of them around. Only sort of lasted 18 months um, uh, and then everything faded out and they all went away again. Um, but nice little collectible set here to try and get hold of. Later issues, really, really hard. Earlier issues are, are findable relatively easily. Right, that is your lot. See you again soon.